Not many people know about the Brainerd Adapted Floor Hockey Team, but it's about time that people start to take notice. The Warriors have won back-to-back -back state titles and have finished this year's regular season at 10-0. Sports reporter Anthony Scott has more on the Warriors' journey to a three-peat. Adapted floor hockey, for those that are not familiar with the sport, is a varsity activity for kids with physical ailments, and it follows many of the same rules as ice hockey. The Brainerd Warriors are becoming a dynasty at the sport as they haven't lost a game since the 2016 state tournament. Brainerd hasn't done this. Like it, their, team, their adapted team has never been this good. I think that kind of shows that it's teamwork. And teamwork has been more important than ever for this season as three of Brainerd's top players from last year were all seniors. It's a much different team than we were a year ago. Uh, we don't necessarily have all the depth that we had. Uh, those players that were coming off the bench a year ago now are, are starting for us. The kids have really responded well and uh, we're just pleased with with how everything has gone. Pleased may be an understatement as the Warriors have outscored their opponents 114 to 26 en route to their 10 and 0 record. The Warriors attribute most of that success to the way they practice. This gym is pretty much our toughest competition. We had the uh, girls varsity hockey team come in on Monday and scrimmaged us. We've got um, a Baja ice hockey team here today to scrimmage. So we really try to push the kids yeah. day in and day out. Brainerd is excited to get down to the state tournament next weekend and compete against the state's best. I like close games because that's when it gets interesting and it's competitive. I would like to see an overtime game maybe. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. And they'll try and get that three-peat next weekend. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.